This is Don with Resurrected Automotive. Today, we're going to start on the front brakes of this here little four-wheeler. See what we can get done so Mama feels safe driving and stopping on her little jewel. All right, to get started, we're going to take the front wheels off. We're going to jack it up, get the impact out. And man, that thing is dirty. Whoever had this just really didn't care. The, the front here, you can see the headlights are awesome. They, they work great. They, you can see everything with them. Uh, it's got the little Frankenstein zip ties that I did myself because it was falling apart. So we stitched her back together and drilled the end of the, the crack out so that it doesn't crack no more. And then zip tied after that. So, didn't do that one because it's kind of running all over the place. Yeah, there she is, all dirty. We're going to see what's going on and why it's not working. Because Mama won't drive it if there's no brakes. cheap brake pads sometimes you got to put in a little bit of work so we're going to use this here grinder and we're going to grind them down to shape where we can put them on the back the front ones are the same as the rears they didn't grind them out good enough 
So we're going to use this little Jesse. And we're going to grind him up. Yeehaw. We're going to get in here. I'll get that all sanded up and get back with you. Well, that ought to get us some stopping power, though. Sanded all that off. Just some whatever I had laying around. 120, looks like. Sandpaper. Just gave her a little scuffing and knocked that rust off of there so them brakes can do their job again. Alright, so we got her sanded up. Get her pushed. Woo, she whoop. She's a little dusty. She's on there with the new brakes. Get the other side on, then we'll do the cables. See if we can't get some stopping action here. So now, we're going to get in here. And we'll take these cables off of here. Hey, there's a screw in there. You know about all that. That's what it is. Just remember that big opening goes up, and you're good to go. Oh, that grease is old in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. This that's pretty old. We got some wheel bearing grease we're going to lube it up with. That stuff should 
stay in there come hell or high water hopefully the high water we'll clean that out and we'll get back to it all right so we just want a little bit we don't need a whole lot of this grease and that's gonna get hot in there and melt around just to pack a little bit in there get a little on there so it's nasty when we put it together and then we'll slip this in there and we'll slide that down in there Okay, so we'll grind off that a little bit, and then we'll slip it in there, and then we'll be good. Okay, that's great. Probably should have done that first. Alright, so, let's check out these ones then. Okay, those go in like they're supposed to. Nothing, nothing hanging over too much. So, We'll grind that other one down and be right back. Okie dokie. Let's try this here again. Just enough to make them nasty. There you go. Good. And then we'll set in like that. And then we'll get which I don't think it matters which side they go to. So we'll get that one in. And then we'll get that one in. Oops. All right, then we'll all cooperate. We'll all make it home alive. I also have two screws in it, but I've only got one. Hmm. It really needs another screw. Let me see what I can do about that. Oh yeah. Lined up so it'll suck back <clears throat> lined up so it will accept the cable. Alrighty. We're we'll gonna take our take our floppy cable over here. Uh, we're gonna try to install it back in there. And then see if we can't find another screw for that thing, because I don't like it when we have one screw. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, this is why we don't throw away our extra hardware. Like when you do like a screen door or something, you got all these little screws left. Throw them in a bucket. My wife got a planter's peanuts bucket, and we threw a bunch of screws in there, and now I've got a screw that fits in that little hole. I mean, you just can't beat that for free because of something we had left over. All right. Let's see what happens. two bolts in there loose so that I can manipulate the cable any way I want to.
get all the clips on there. Because I can't make that thing work. part in and then the second part got a little tab to line up with the tab in here and you just shove them together just that easy all right so I'm gonna get these lines clamped back together here uh, so they're not just flopping around in here and then we'll take this thing for a test drive see what happens So we got mama's little four-wheeler going and it's stopping. It's got all the brakes on it now. Well, three anyway, because there's four wheels, three brakes. I don't know how that works, but four wheels, three brakes. They're all stopping. We got it going. Uh, see you next. We're going to work on the cage. Uh, mama should be pretty happy. If we could just keep these dang kids from stealing this four-wheeler, every time I get it going, one of these little dudes runs over here and just tries to run off with it. Oh, there he is again! Oh no! Oh, no. 